Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 51 second round match. What a match this is between Mad Jake and Wood Elves and Andre and Chaos Dwarves. This could be a choice final, couldn't it? With the, uh, the pedigree of both coaches. Uh, though not so much with the teams as Andre's team looks pretty shit. <laughs> He's only down a babe. But um, this is not what you want for Chaos Dwarves, is it? He's down only two skills on each bull. You know, they really want the garden the tackle on these guys. On min minimum on the blockers as well, just guard on most of them. Obviously the claw pump is really nice. Really nice claw pummer. But not that good against Wood Hills anyway, because he hasn't got claw against the Wood Hills hardly. Jump up those good. And a decent ball carrier. Thirteen players. Mad Jake also has 13 players. There's an adjup up dancer and a guard catcher and not much else. So it's, it's not a great Wood Elf team either. But um, Wood Elves don't need to be great, do they? Because they're, they're really strong. Hello, Paravel. <laughs> Hello, Incesticide, and Happy New Year to you too. Don't watch the VOD. Don't watch the VOD, Paravel. <laughs> no, it was just, just banter, it wasn't. Nothing mean. Well, maybe it was mean, but it wasn't, wasn't meant to be mean. <laughs> yeah, P Pogler was a bit over the top. Oh, wow, we're rolling the one in nine. Not sure about re-rolling the one in nine there, but I guess he's got a he had four rerolls. So we thought, why not? Yeah, I mean, there's always explanations of everything, isn't there? You know, like either people just didn't see things, or they had some plan that the casters didn't see. There's often there's often reasons for things. And I've already forgotten everything that happened as soon as it's happened as well. So there is that. But I mean, I summed it up anyway at the end. <laughs> Actual potato. I'm not sure I like leaving the tree unmolested. I feel like tagging out the tree with a, a hobo would have been worth it because this tree can geofy and uh, do something, can't it? I mean, I'm sure that we still have the potato SFX probably, yep. Yeah. I mean, there's life. My life is potatoes. <laughs> I have potato blood in my veins. <laughs> <laughs> my brain is a potato. <laughs> There's another one as well, isn't there? I think. Can't remember. Oh, fantastic defense from uh, Mad Jake here. Getting everybody in the way. <laughs> Is he not even going to try to stand up the tree? No, oh, he does. Uh, my jumper is purple. Or... <laughs> it's blue. <laughs> <laughs> it's blue. My jumper is blue. I don't know why I said purple. <laughs> <laughs> it might be my favourite sound effect, yeah. <laughs> that right side is really well protected, yeah. Yeah, this is it. I tell you what. <laughs> Andre isn't getting into this area. Oh, God. Exclamation point, Wolf. Exclamation point, Wolf is so good, yeah. 
Oh man, there's there's just there's just some good sound effects. I'll have isn't to uh, find out more about these boobies. <laughs> and boobies. <laughs> and it was Cyan. The funniest thing was it wasn't even blue, it was Cyan. <laughs> so it was it was a double it was a double whammy of wrongness. I wonder if it's better to not stand the tree here, right? Because he's got a claw pummer who can nail the tree. So I'm gonna find everyone who plays not. Maybe you just life. deliberately don't stand up the tree so here, because at least if he fouls the tree, he's got to surround it and commit the DP, and then he doesn't have a DP to to you know lay into wells. Well, one less DP to lay into wells. Interesting that he didn't feel the rackler, saving that for defense. <laughs> oh, Pogo. <laughs> He does indeed, Daly. He's just protecting his players. Wonderful, wonderful Wood Elf defence. Love it. Love to see it. I think this is optimal play here from Mad Jake. Well, I think he could have, like, defended, you know. With not taking removals on the LOS, he could have maybe, like, done something before he noped out. But I, I quite like noping out when you feel like it's done. Oh, it's not a that, you know. This is just a... Uh, not taking attrition, isn't it? Might get the one turn. He can dacker on, on offense and then win the kind toss. Will the choice be able to stall? Maybe. There we go. The dream result. Induce the foul. Jim foul. Now he's outbashed him, yeah. He's literally outbashed him this time. <laughs> Wonderful. A masterclass in elf defense. Alma forever a dice lord. <laughs> Defending the ball is super easy. Do you know what would be really good is if Mad Jake just had a wizard and nobody realised. <laughs> but yeah, full meat cube. That's the best. That's the best store, isn't it? If you're not going to go back and fight them. As you can tell by the Alma Forever a Dice Lord, yes. <laughs> no chore handoff, no. No very professional from Andre, just get the re you know, it just gets the result, right? Just going for the result. Maybe he should have uh, tried to hand off to a chorf. Uh, this one on 15 would have been a prime candidate, wouldn't it? Or if you want to be greedy, go for the one on, on 10. But uh, I think he should have gone for the handoff. But you know, this was the the correct thing was to just take the score 100%, wasn't it? And here we go, weakness of the team. He does not have these two stand firm guys. We've got a frenzy. We're going to see a blitz back to get the uh, push forward here. This would be really nice. Really nice. Who knows what's going to happen? But the uh, the frenzy blitz in to get the sidestep before would be interesting, wouldn't it? I don't think he's doing that. But I could be wrong. No, I don't think he is trying it. I think he was just playing for a riot. 
Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe. Oh, so he's going to blitz the. Oh, yeah, he, just, he doesn't need to fill the first one. Yeah, no, no, so he is doing the frenzy blitz, yeah. Yeah, he doesn't need to fill the first one, does he? Of course. Yeah. He does need three pushes, though, doesn't he? Gets the second push. Oh, baby. Gets the power. Lovely. Lovely one turn there. I lost track of, like, I thought he had to fill in the first one for some reason, but obviously he didn't at all because he had frenzy. There you go. Lovely one turn. Lovely one turn from Mad Jake. Call style. Wasn't it? Using the, uh, using the free player. And he was two behind as well, to make it a little bit, a little bit harder. But yeah, he just didn't need to fill that first one. In. For some reason, I thought he. Yeah, I was don't know why I was thinking, but yeah, frenzy made it really good. Didn't he just have to fill those three? So there you go. After all that, after all that half, of, like not defending at all, he gets a successful defense out of it. And now, will he Dakar? Is he not fielding the tree? No, he is fielding the tree. Oh, we are, we are seeing the Dakar. The deep tree. The deep tree. You, I love to see the deep tree Dakar. Try and level some players up. I catch it and do a completion and a touchdown, can't he? Or he could try four completions. I think in a playoff match that's a bit greedy. Um, so probably just one completion and scoring. I mean, he might try for the extra power. Oh, well, he is now that he hasn't gone forwards at all. Oh, I'm not sure about this from Andre. I think you should. God, I, I'm, I'm used to pressing escape to skip the animations. Yeah, I think you've got to press them. I think just standing at halfway is shit. But also, I want the strength 4 guys on the edge, or the stand firm guys on the edge. I don't like this uh, strength 3 guy on the edge. Okay, so he's making the side stronger, but exposing the center, I guess. Hmm. Maybe he just misplayed there and he realised he didn't want to leave a hobble there. And just, that's why he did this. Who knows? Gets the air. Uh, gets the completion. Oh my god, I keep doing this. 
this guy. So he's on five now. And now we're going to see a little bit of moving around. Shuffling. Problem is, Cornite, if you send if you send a bull sentinel forward to a Ras, he might get banged out by a strength five uh, high elf. That is the weakness with that. Uh, not many Pogler. Not many at all. Fantastic match uh, for Mad J. <laughs> yeah, I don't like this defense from Andre, to be honest. Being more fouls than bullets. Now that's him. That's his catcher leveled. So he gives it to the edge five dancer, so he can leap and everything. Lovely. Four completions from that catcher. Fua. Yep, I, just, I don't know what Andre's doing. And I think it's pretty clear that Andre doesn't know what Andre's doing either because he's reshuffled this so many fucking times. <laughs> you know. I think you want to put somebody forward, just not 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 whatever this is. Like both bulls in the same side. Like what the hell? Claw pommer blitzable? What? This is really weird. I mean, you've just got to you've just got to not be weak, right? You've got to like you want to pressure them because if you don't pressure them, then they're getting what they want, which is multiple turns of not being punched. Like you know, he's survived four turns of attrition here, hasn't he? For free. So you've got you've got to move forward. You've got to move forward. And then uh, you want to make it so there's not any weak links, which is difficult. It is tricky. <laughs> 11 turns if you, if you include the first half. Doesn't re roll this time, of course, because. Keck Woody. So we're going to see some blocks now. Some actual blocks from the Chorfs. Woohoo! Fair enough, Paravel. Fair enough. I mean, obviously you disagree with me because you did, you did what you did, and it's not what I would have done. So you don't disagree with me because it's not what I would have done. You have to agree with me because it's not what I would have done. <laughs> Oh, here we go, the dodge throughs. you would have been parallel. Like, honestly, it, his team was shit. He just needed to, like, get in the way for a bit. Honestly, I think. I think if you just get in the way for a bit, he's got one tackle. No, he's a ball carrier tackle, so he can't really use the ball carrier's tackle. He's got one tackle on a Nurgle Warrior. Obviously, he might get unlucky with multiple removals and stuff. Multiple random removals, but it's, it's unlikely. 
I think chances are. I think your team's that much better. Chances are. But, you know, you get easier chances. If it was versus a fully powered Chris team, then I think your strat was the correct one. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe you, uh, you, indeed, like, well, you certainly read it differently from me, right? Now, it doesn't mean that I'm correct and you're wrong. Right? That's the thing, isn't it? Who knows? Who knows? But, um, but certainly my read on it was... was that you were pretty far ahead and we're going to get good chances here we go there is a weak link and that weak, weak link is getting battered by wrestle interesting i would have i would have blitzed from here so that i could have wrestled but um not the case. I guess the push is just good, is just as good. Eh? Oh yeah, and then the push is no good if you. No, yeah, you have to blitz from the next, and the push is no good. No, yeah, 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 that was totally correct from. Totally correct from Magic. Disregard. Wow, this is ballsy, isn't it? Don't you have to have it, the guy here? Wow. No, you just have to do the three two. Okay. Fair enough. Flip me. Left it very late, mine, didn't he? This is two GFIs to score. Or a handoff. Or a pass. This one's a catcher. I mean, only maybe hand off the catcher because we'll see what happens with the rest of the players. It might just be a leap. A leap dodge. A leap dodge double GFI. Oof, gotta re roll this. Really nice. Um, I wonder if we can get someone around to block here somehow. Looks like that's what he's doing. Oh, he can blitz and chain, chain the ball. But stand firm, he couldn't chain him. Oh, was that a misplay? Was that a misplay? I think he thought he could chain him. I was thinking of putting an assist in there so he could block there somehow. Which is what he's done in the end. Surely this could have blocked. Better than a dodger. But anyway. He dodges through and leaps and there you go. Flipping elves. <laughs> what an absolute thriller. To be fair, you know the one turn was good, wasn't it? But yeah, the de the defence and offence weren't exactly thrilling. But exactly what Mad Jake needed, so you know, fair play. Fair play to him. I guess Andre should have tried to, you know, instigate more contact try to get something done because if you don't if you don't mangle the elves you're in a you're in a bit of a pickle will he leave a gaping hole like me versus Cruz? no he hasn't he's actually he's actually defended the one turn properly <laughs> now he can indeed kill the tree for what it's worth.
And still got his Apple, hasn't he, Mad Jake? I mean, this has been a wonderful game from Mad Jake. Didn't even make the LOS blocks. Gary on! <laughs> Two AV breaks. 13 blocks in the whole game. 15 blocks for the Woodies. The Woodies made more blocks. There you go. Incredible. And four completions. So there you go. Great, great result. Fantastic stuff from Mad Jake. Maybe not the best to watch. But I enjoyed it. I do love the DACA. Yeah, the DACA doesn't work versus good players. That's what that's what some people say, you know. And if you ever if you ever doubt that, try and score a two turn against Andre and see what happens. It might, you might struggle a little bit. <laughs> but there you go. Um, congratulations to Mad Jake. Commiserations to Andre. Uh, not not the best one to watch, but you know the one turn was good and obviously great strategy and execution from Mad Jake. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.